Hey guys, HD here, and welcome to episode 132 of The Legend of Zelda Teos of the Kingdom. So last time, we went ahead and snuck into the Yiga Clan hideout. And while we, we were in there, we had uh, given a, been given a mission. We need to be able to... Um, make our way to each of these frog statues that they have and be able to um give a uh what, what would you call it not a sacrifice a offering yes here we go there's one right here right as i was explaining it Which allows you to be able to understand what i'm talking about Ha, 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 ha. Okay, so we got that one down. Now there's one right here. Uh, well, I guess I gotta go that way. Um, this is very close. We'll see if I can get it. Yeah, we did. But I have to wait a little bit just to be able to get back up. So this test involves the climate and being able to put up with it. Okay, so I have to go up Uno Moss level. Um, so yeah. Let's make our way up there. Okay. So it should just be right about here. Now, the issue could be that I could come into is that there's a cave. And when it comes to finding caves, it may be a little more difficult than just simply um, going right up to it. Yeah. There is a cave somewhere. Um, if I had to guess, it would be down. Yeah, I would guess I'd have to go down. Actually, I see some lights right here. Actually, no, it's not in a cave. Awesome. Um, let's go here. Hold and off. Oh, okay. So we got those now. Now, Mount Nabori, I have a shrine here. Truthfully, just going to the tower and just gliding to all these things would be the easiest. Um, does it take a little bit of time due to gliding? Yes, but it's the easiest, in my mind, at least. Just to go ahead and uh, get these. Okay, so let's fly to him. It doesn't matter to me which one you go to. I go to. Not you. <laughs> um. Okay, let's do. Let's do this one with the river. Not a river, a lake. This is like flying music. Like if I was in like a zeppelin or something. This is what I would like imagine the music being like. Okay, I believe it would be right here. Uh, is it above or below ground? That is the question. A question, not the. Okay, yep, it's above ground right here. You know what? I hate. Oh, I thought that was an octo rock, and I was gonna go on a tangent. But it turns out it wasn't, so. Let's offer a mighty banana. Man, that guy, that thing's nasty. Okay, so, yeah, let's go to the mountain of Bori. Man. You can just see the heat radiating everywhere. It's just so hot. Come 
Come on, let's go again. Okay. There's that shrine, but I did not want to use that one to get over to this. Okay, so this one definitely could be in a cave. Actually, the odds are probably like 100% that this is in the cave. So, we have to find an entrance to a cave. Uh, that's, I wouldn't think that'd be difficult. Uh, it looks like he has an entrance to a cave. I've seen one. Uh, there's an octo rock. Oh, shoot, guys. I'm not even joking. My health is... My stamina, not health. Let's just get here. Uh, let me see how much swimming outfits I have. Oh! That's sticky resistance. That's not swim speed. Never mind on that one. Um. I don't know. Uh, let's shoot. I know what to do. Let me. You dumb, stupid waddle. How am I even supposed to make it back up there? Do I have any climb speed increases? You know, you'd think I'd have something like that by now. Thank you. Okay, so now we can... Kind of rush up a little bit. Okay, right here. The elevation is slightly more friendly. Hold off and then run. Hold off and run. Hold off, run. Hold off, run. So just kind of give it a second to break, but enough so that you can catch yourself again. Okay. We're almost to the uh, top, so let's just play it safe till we make it there. Okay, so it looks like we're here. And let's not be stupid like I was last time. Because that is no fun. So don't... Okay, here we go. And now... Okay. I'm not gonna say anything about that. Um, I'm not gonna get frustrated. But man, this cave. Let me... Octo rocks? I'm surprised this cave doesn't have... Does this cave have a shrine in it? Like, this cave is kind of wicked, not even gonna lie. Um, like, looking at it, I don't know if there would be a shrine in it, but, but yeah, I don't think there would be a shrine, just, I don't know, there's one right by here, so, it wouldn't make any sense, but some good all, now that could definitely be here, hidden all more. Let's just use this. Gotta pull out the big guns. Break this stuff. It's crazy how you have to climb. And you'd think you could just... Swim, since it's water, wouldn't you? Okay, the current doesn't look as fast to you. 
I would say. Oh uh, yeah, it's a lot shallow. It's a lot more shallow. Oh. Fascinating. Fascinating. Okay. Let's go ahead and make our way to the next tower. I just wanted to see what that leads to. And now that is, like, interesting that it leads to, like, that river on waterfall where they, it, like, goes through a cave. So, overall, that's pretty cool. Okay, now we have this one we need to fly to, the last one. This one probably is in a cave, too. I mean, if one's in a cave, they all, this has to be another one, right? Uh, let's see. Click inventory. And let's allow myself to warm up a little. I don't like seeing like cold. There I'm learning. <laughs> just remember click A. It will just make speed so much quicker, hopefully. <laughs> I hope it'd make it quicker. Don't know if I'll need to use it again. Because I'm gonna land like right where I need to be anyway. Okay, so here. That does not look good in the ground over there. Now that's a file, and that's what, a Rito? Was that that's a stable, isn't it? That must be the This Colton. I don't know how much I like Colton. He's quite eccentric. Not that it's bad, but... Okay. It appears as though there is nothing there. Now, it is just turning late at night. So he's just coming out and getting his day started. Uh, running his business and everything. Okay, let's go down this side. That is not a small feat. But... We just need to find an entrance to a cave. That goes deep enough that... We could find it. Let's see. Any cave entrances? Have I uncovered any? No. Yeah, most likely, knowing me, I'm not the most uh, skablunker, I believe that's what you call them. Going skablunking, or I forget. <laughs> Something like that. But. Yeah, let's see, is there any cave entrances here? I could potentially have what I'm looking for. I want to check the vicinity just to see what I see. Um. There, oh, that looks like a cave entrance finally. Seeing something that, uh, that's a little encouraging. It's encouraging. Yeah, I'm too lazy to pull. Actually, no. Pull out the easy to get materials. Not the difficult to get materials. Let's see, ice, ice, ice. Actually, you know what? The, the easiest thing to do. If I. You could just like look it up sometime. Was that worth it? No. <laughs> that took way too long. I could have just pulled this thing out and just killed him, but you know, it's fine. Stay away. Be 
because I have won the hard way. You can blow yourself to smithereens. Man, this is such a weird cave. There we go. There's where I need to put the mighty bananas. This almost looks like a labyrinth. Just the design of it. I mean, it probably doesn't actually. Maybe like the material maybe doesn't, but the actual like just everything. I don't know. Something about it. Okay, am I blind? There we go. Hold and ching. <laughs> you have found everything. How close am I to the labyrinth? I'm very far from it. This is just an interesting place to be. Honestly, it's probably designed just for this one quest. Like, skedaddling, I'm gonna skedaddle. That is not where I should be. Uh, giant bosses. Well, I could kill them easy. I really don't want to spend the time. I don't know. Something about them. But there are some enemies I would kind of like to see. I don't know if you need to beat the game. You might actually have to beat the game to see enemies. I That actually is one of the most logical things I've said. Is that you have to beat beat an enemy if you want to be able to um if you want to be able to uh, what do you call it you have to beat an enemy that you have to beat the game to get more difficult enemies that just makes sense Man, getting that extra momentum going the right way. Sheesh. Thank you, Gust Guy. A uh, Tulin, I guess is his name. I'm trying to think, is the lightning god go Raja? I have nothing to say to you. You're not Yiga. Well, let me change real quick. Yo, Yiga clan, huh? Come on. Excellent. Finally, you have returned after making the necessary offerings. My intelligence sources have confirmed it. You passed the Blade Master exam. I have a reward for you for your assuming the mantle of Blade Master. You are permitted to step into the inner sanctum. The reward is valuable and only found in the depths. You should know that it is a great honor to receive one. Pay no heed to the strange glowing runes you may find inside. We haven't yet decided what to do with them. What's important is that your hard work in overcoming the Blade Master exam, all the glory to Master Koga. Yay. Hmm. All the glory to Master Koga. Said pay no attention to this. <laughs> Let's just kick these open. See what there is. <laughs> oh, holy crap. The Shoraka Shrine. I've spent a lot of work to get that Shoraka Shrine. So, yeah, now we've completed it it's taken it's yeah that should be a blessing this is one of the more difficult shrines i i hope so i mean just time wise like the amount of time to do this a big battery that's actually really cool i wish i could have infinite big batteries Da, 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 da. 
the light of blessing. May the light make grant the blessing you seek. Something like that. <laughs> so, I, yeah, I have the time. I want to also explore a little bit what is, what else there is in the um, area over here. Because I saw the underground chambers that leads to the depths, he said. So, I want to check that out. No, but I'm saving that eightfold blade. Holy moly. Okay, here. I have to try it every time. Oh, shoot. I didn't do that right. Guys, I definitely failed. Trying to do that. Um, I don't know. I seen it and I'm just like, I want to try that sometime. That, uh, little thing where you can do one bubble frog at a time. Eager Blade Master. No, but this Eightfold Blade just on its own, it's like not decayed. Uh, when weirded by a proficient fighter, it cleaves wind and creates a vacuum. Am I a proficient fighter? May I ask that? Okay, so now that we oh shoot, let's let's uh, let's get right here by this fire. So after we've done all that, I think I will glide to my next location. The next interest. Um it is over in this area. I guess you could say it's by like a um some bone looking runes like right here so this is where i'm heading uh, yeah so i think i'll get a good start at that i mean yeah just i guess lengthen this video a little bit more maybe actually no i probably shouldn't I'll just end this video when I get to the tower. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to end this video here. And I'll see you guys back in the next episode where I'm going to go ahead and continue on my sh journey of getting shrines from here all the way to here. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.